Hello everyone, this week we're going to be learning about artist Keith Herring and we're going to be making a sculpture, tinfoil sculpture, and then we're also going to be making some chalk graffiti. So you can choose which one of those you want to do, or both, that's up to you. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about Mr. Herring. He was an artist that worked in New York City. Um, he was a graffiti artist first. He would find blank walls in the subway system of New York, uh, New York City and he would graffiti them. He liked to use basic lines, shapes, and colors. He would find a black space on the wall and use white chalk to draw his pictures. Later on, he started getting hired by people to make these murals on walls and that's when he started getting to add some color. So he made these abstract people. I'm going to show you a picture up here. And they looked kind of like this. We can see those thick black lines he used, the basic shapes in the humans, and of course all of this color that's there. This particular piece is called Dance Party, and that's actually what we're kind of going to be drawing from for both our graffiti art and our tinfoil art. This next piece is just even more crazy dance moves, moving around people, and they're stacked on top of each other. Uh, very colorful, again with the thick black lines. They're still abstract people. Remember that means it's not like a realistic picture. You can't see their eyes, mouths, etc. It's just an abstract picture to give you the idea of humans being there and moving. And then this last picture is actually one of the walls that Mr. Herring um, graffitied or painted on and it's got a ton of those lines it's got some of his people you've got these really big ones that are upside down here and then you've got these smaller ones here and if you notice they have these repeating uh, people because when you graffiti something usually a graffiti artist uses a stencil to make it go quicker and make it be easier since they have such a big space to cover we're going to talk about that during the graffiti video but now we're going to get into our tin foil sculpture so you're going to get to make one of these little guys you can make them in whatever position you want we're going to look at that and see how we can do some quick gesture drawings and then build him together we need a few supplies today. We've got to have our pencil. We need some scissors, a piece of paper. This could be a scrap paper, that'd be fine. And then some tin foil or aluminum foil. Notice it's about as big as my paper. Not completely straight, but that's okay. All right, for step one today, we're gonna to divide our paper into six sections. It doesn't matter how big or how small, this is just gonna be for sketching then you're going to sketch out some stick figures in different poses. They can be dancing, running, whatever you want. Right now, after you have these all sketched out, you're gonna pick one to make into your tin foil sculpture. It can be any one that you choose. Notice I've got one kicking here, some dancing, playing an air guitar, flossing, whatever you wanna do, you pick one to make your sculpture. Next, we have to split our tin foil into five sections. You can use your pencil to do this at home, but so you can see it on mine, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Sharpie. I'm going to first draw two lines basically down the middle, but stop right before I get to the middle. So I should have a section here between my lines. Then I'm gonna come right down here and draw a line, oops, that got crooked, a line straight down. These are my legs. I'm gonna go ahead and write that in for you. There's a leg, here's a leg. Now I've gotta make my arm space and my head space. So up here, I've gotta make it into three sections. I'm gonna draw one line from here out to the corner, and one line from here out to the corner. It doesn't have to go exactly to the corner, just in that direction. This will be your head, and these guys 
will be your arms. After you have it separated out, you want to cut on your lines. Don't cut in this section. You need to keep that together so his body stays together. All right, now choose your one pose and go ahead and start sculpting. You'll be rolling up. You'll see me do it each piece so that you can make him in the position that he is here. I think I'm gonna choose this guy up here and start making him. I'm just gonna roll it up. bend it where I want to to make this little leg there. Careful not to rip here. 